I want Jesus in my life more than anything this world can offer me for I know that he alone can satisfy just to know he's leading in my life is worth everything that I might sacrifice oh I want Jesus more than anything take the fame that I might want and all the things that seem so dear I'd rather have him than any praise that man may give to me. I want him to have control and be the breath of life in me. I'd rather have Jesus, I'd rather have him. Some and try so hard to prove that God's not really real, while others say they know for sure His love you cannot feel. But I know He's real within my soul for one day. And made me whole And Jesus is still the answer For the longing deep in your soul Jesus is still the answer And the time and ages grow is still the answer He's the answer for your soul And though some may say He doesn't fit with their philosophy I know Jesus is still the answer He's always been will be Jesus is still the answer and though time and ages roll Jesus is still the answer He's the answer for your soul and though time
thank you, O God, for Jesus, your Son whom you have sent into this world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through Him may be saved. Tonight, we are going to discuss episode 19 of our Jesus Steal the Answer in our COVID Gospel series. Again, we are eager to hear your word today. We are eager to accept this spiritual vaccination for this spiritual malady. In Jesus' name, Amen. We welcome all of you to our episode 19. In our Jesus is still the answer for the COVID gospel service here in Hope Channel, South Philippines. Tonight is the second to the last of our part two series. We will be having a break and then we will decide when we will reopen for part three. But uh, we have given you at least in part one and part two what we call the spiritual vaccination for the spiritual sin virus that has plagued the world since the fall of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Our spiritual vaccine, of course, is Christ, our victory in distress. That's COVID, the spiritual vaccine. Jesus is still the answer. Tonight, our topic is another very interesting one. It is going to talk about the different ways many religions have offered life solutions to the people of the world. The beginning of a new life. You know, if you go to any street in any city today, you will find out that there are groups of religious people proclaiming they have the truth. No one who spouse a religion would say, mine is not the truth. Today we are going to look at some of the more prominent religions that are beckoning the man on the street. But at least in the world, we have at least about 14 major religions. We will only discuss, introduce a little bit of each one to you. For example, one of the oldest, of course, this is not the oldest, is Judaism, the religion that emanated from what we call the Holy Land, Judaism. Judaism is traced back to Abraham in the Middle East. Father Abraham died when he was 170 years of age, about 1900 BC. And we are told that his dead body was uh, rested in the grave in Machpelah. We, we read that from the scriptures. We, we read that from the Bible. Then we also have another religious organization, which is a little bit new. New in the sense that it came much, much later than others. This is the religion we now call Islam. Islam, the youngest of the four great world religions, and when I say four great world religions, I'm talking about Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism. Those are the four major, the first four major religions. Now, Islam, the youngest of the four great world religions, venerates Allah and Muhammad, the founder. The great rallying call of the Muslim world is there is one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his prophet. A very good, uh, very good uh, kind of uh, rallying call. We also know, for example, that Muhammad was born in 570 AD in the city of Mecca. And Muhammad claimed the angel Gabriel appeared to him in vision and gave him words of enlightenment which we now call the Quran or the recitation. The Muslims' ultimate authority. For centuries now, there has been no greater joy to the Muslims than a pilgrimage to Mecca. It's an annual activity in which not just thousands but even millions of people make a pilgrimage 
to Mecca, their founder's birthplace. Of course, except it be uh, to the fact that he died in defense. Of course, that's, that's their privilege. They, they would prefer to die in defense of Islam. Then we also have uh, heard the story that Muhammad died at the age of 61, 61 years old. His grave in Medina is tightly guarded around the clock. Parts of his body, we are told, are enshrined in various mosques in different parts of the, uh, the Middle East. There is no claim for resurrection after Muhammad's death, just like there was no claim for the resurrection after Abraham's death. When we shift to the third of the three, uh, first four major religions of the world, the third is Buddhism. Buddhism's founder is Prince Siddhartha Gautama of the Himalayan Empire. He is commonly known as Buddha, the Enlightened One. Siddhartha Gautama, we are told, died in 483 BC. Relics of his body, including hair and teeth, have been enshrined in pagodas throughout the Buddhist world. You know, while going to places where Buddhism is what we sometimes call not necessarily state religion, but uh, majority religion. But in some countries, it's a state religion, like Sri Lanka and uh, Myanmar. In some of these places, their great pagodas, we are told that a lot, some of the relics of his body are in those pagodas. We also understand that when he died, there is no record, there is no claim of his resurrection after the death of Buddha. Of course, he died with his career as the enlightened man. We see a lot of his images in different parts of the uh, world, particularly in Buddhist countries. Then we have the Confucianism of China with Confucius. We also understand that Confucius died sometime in 476 uh, BC, but there is also no claim whatsoever from the followers of a resurrected Confucius. Of course, they believe his teachings because it's more of a philosophic, it's more of a philosophy rather than a religion. So it is with Taoism or Taoism, who is also founded by a certain a contemporary of Confucius, another Chinese philosopher, Lao Tzu. So when we talk about this, there is only one religion today that claims the, 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 a big difference between all those major religions that I have just mentioned to you. What is the difference between Christianity and the other great religions of the East? All have great teachers, all encourage their adherents to be good persons. Why do Christians claim that their founder, Jesus Christ, is the superior founder of the other religions compared to other religions? In fact, the followers of this religion often challenge Christians to show them where their leader is in tomb, saying, Christians, you Christians, have nothing. You have nowhere to say where your leader is in tomb. And yes, we don't deny that. Ngano mamalibad man ta? Ug muad to takaroon sa Jerusalem, tinood ang usa sa duawunon sa mga Christian pilgrims. Gaduaw man po sila diri. Sama man po ni sa obang pilgrims. Dito bitaw mi sa Myanmar, just prior to the kining uh, covid pandemic sa kalibutan dito mi sa Myanmar and we have seen nga uh, ang ang pinakadako nga paguda sa tibuok kalibutan na as city of Myanmar which is the capital of Myanmar itself ang former Burma na diha ang golden paguda while we go there there are hundreds of people who are touring that area they are also Buddhist pilgrims just like Christians visiting the Holy Land, just like Muslims visit, visiting Mecca, and just like people, uh, Chinese visiting other uh, 
beautiful places in the world, maupun ni ang sa Myanmar, ang ila pong pilgrimage dito po sa largest pagoda or Buddhist temple in the world sa Myanmar. Yet, the tombs of Muhammad, the tombs of Abraham, of Judaism, the tomb of Buddha are evidences of death and decay. But the empty tomb of Christ is evidence of His power over death. For the angel said to the women who visited his grave, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Mauna siya ang dako nga balita nga ikapasigarbo sa mga Kristuhanon kung itapad ta sa ubang religious organizations. The tomb of the one we consider our Lord and Savior is empty. Di takaduaw dito arun mutan aw sa bones, mutan aw sa teeth, mutan aw sa different parts of His body. Visit there now. There is still that big uh, placard. He is not here, for He is risen. The tomb of Christ is an empty tomb. But, It is not only that. He is the one who said, I am coming again. You see, the difference between Christianity and every other religion is the empty tomb. Only Christians claim the resurrection of their founder and friend. A religion that does not have an empty tomb and a coming king is not enough. It does not meet man's needs for you. If there is no empty tomb or cup coming king, the inhabitants of planet Earth are doomed to a meaningless oblivion. Wala tay padurungan. But in Christ, we are having hope. Thank you so much, Pastor Asoy, sa imong guwapo nga sermon kaganina sa amping kapaglaw. Our hope in the resurrection is the hope of all humanity. Sa 1 Corinthians 15, matod pa ni Paul, And if Christ is not risen, kung nagpabilin siya sa lubnganan, sama sa uban nga mga great founders of the great religions of the world, if Christ is not risen, then our praising is empty, and your faith is also empty. Nahimutang o kawang ang atong pagtuo, kawang ang atong pagalagad kay farther words sa 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 17 particular it says if Christ is not risen your faith is futile you are still in your sins then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished wa gitay paglaom pagkapatay na to patay na puta kay patay man ang atong founder the proof that Christ has arisen. Sa buhi pa siya mga egsoo na ay record sa Bible nga nakig pagpakigsagol niya sa mga pangulo sa Judaism. Miingon siya pagsulti sa John 2 verse, 20, verse 19. Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. So ni-argue ang mga Jewish leaders kaniya. It has taken 46 years to build this temple and will you raise it up in three days? Gani, gigamit na nga accusation kang Jesus when he was already brought into the courts of Pilate and even to Herod. Kining tawhana, treason ang iyahang doctrine. Ini, kigsutim, ninsutim manis mga tao nga iyang gumon ang templo. Oh, they missed the point. Christ was not talking about the temple That was the center of the city of Jerusalem for the Jews. No, he was talking about his body. It was not about the bricks that was built by Solomon and later destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar and rebuilt by uh, uh, Nehemiah and other great leaders after the period of the return of the Israelites in Uh, from Babylon. Muna ilang gi-rebuild. He was not talking about the bricks of the temple when he said, destroy this temple and I will restore it in three days. He spoke of the temple of his body, John 2.21. Meaning, 
inyong patyuning lawasa, ikatulo ka adlaw, mubango ni pag-usab. Christ claimed to be the Messiah. In John 2 verse 22, we are told, Therefore, when He had risen from the dead, His disciples remembered that He had said this to them, and they believed the Scripture and the words which Jesus had said. Sa ato pa, sa dihang na naka nabanhaw na siya inumdum mo sa atong gisilibrar 2 weeks ago holy week namatay siya og berne sa hapon diya sa lubnganan siya sa adlawng sabado ug sa sunod nga adlaw gikan sa ikatulo ka adlaw gikan siya ang pagkalubong kadlawon sa domingo nabanhaw siya in fact the bible says that when christ has risen He still stayed with his disciples for 40 more days. The Bible says he talked to about 500 of his disciples. And remember, when he died that Friday afternoon, there was a phenomenal scene that has taken place. Nay magsusulat nga nagsugilon sa usa ka kaagi nga samtang si Kristo gilansang dito sa Kalbaryo sa cross. Onya sa dayon na niyang litok sa pinulungan into thy hand and commend I commend my spirit ka tubitaw seven last words ang pipila ni ini consumatum ist sa latin nga pinulungan nga ang meaning it is finished paglitok niya ni ana mga kaigsuonan may author nga nagdescribe sa usa ka talan-awon didto sa templo sa Jerusalem Matud pa niya, ni Anang hapon sa Birnis, may usapa ka talanaon nga nahitabo. Ang naandan sa mga hudiyo nga sirimunya, nagda sila dito, o sa kahudiyo nga nakasala, nagda siyang halad. Pagdala niya siyang halad, may atubang sa kaniya ang sasirduti. O sama sa akong gidescribe, kaninyo, gikumpisal sa makasasala ang iyang sala, paingon sa ulo sa iyang halad nga karniro, gitagaan siya o hinagiban sa saserdote, giihaw niya ang maong karniro nga walay lama, walay, walay mansa, o sa diyang giihaw, gisalod sa saserdote ang dugo, gisablig sa lain-laing bahin sa templo, ah, wa pa na mahitabo higala, sa pagda pa lang sa o sa kamakasasala sa karniro. Igo siyang sutihan sa saserdote nga ikumpisal ang iyang sala. Si Jesus, dito sa Kalbaryo sa Cross, misinggit na sa iyang amahan, akong gipitugyan na akong kaugalingon nga na kanimu into thy hand, I commit my spirit. O niya ang katapusan yun niyang pinulungan ni Ingon siya, consumatum est, it is finished. Paglitok ni anak ni Ginong Jesus ang magsusulat nag Ingon, ang templo dito sa Jerusalem, nagisi ang iyan tabil. Unya ang karniro nga gidala sa makasasala, nakabuhi. Ug misinggit ang makasasala nga, dakpunta to, gigukod niya o gidakop, apan nakabuhi. The last of the lamb was Jesus Christ. Muna yung gitagna naman na ni Daniel, ato man nangisulti sa atong prophecy, may tungod kang Daniel sa Daniel 9. Na in the midst of the week, he will put an end to sacrifices. There was no more sacrificial ceremony, no more sacrifices in the Jewish procedure because the last lamb, Jesus Christ, was already offered. The final lamb is Christ. It's finished. But you remember, na. Di adto in town ang duha sa mga disipulo niya nga mga sakop sa Sanhedrin. Sa ato pa mga dato nga mga tao, pangulo po sa mga Hudiyo, afan followers of Christ. There's two rich men, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus. And they pleaded with uh, Pilate, please tuguti me nga among hipuson ang iyang patay nga lawas. And they, of course, Pilate permitted that. So we are told in the Bible that Christ was laid in the tomb of of Joseph of Arimathea. Apan, sa dayo nilang hangyo, bingon sila, Sir, we remember, matod pa sa mga, uh, mga sasirduti, ang mga pangulo, 
sa templo sa Jerusalem. Katong nag-akusar kang Jesus Christ o blasphemy, katong nag-akusar kang Jesus Christ o sedisyon, nga mao hinoy, nagtunod sa kang Pilato, nga mukundinar na lang, nang hunaw siya siya ang kamot, apan gitugyan niya, o misinggit ang mga tao, ilan sang siya, ni Anang Sabado, miadto ang mga pangulo sa Hudiyo, kang Pilato, o maingon sir, Katura bang tawhana sa buhi pa to, kay manlilimbong magitong tawhana? Niingon raba to, nga human sa ikatulo kaadlaw, gikan sa iyang pagkamatay, mabanhaw siya. Busa, hangyo na mo ni mo sir, siguruhan na lang yun sir nga, pabutangan ang iyang lubnganan o mga sundalo. Kuman that the tomb be made secure until the third day, kay basig ang iyang mga tinunan. Muanha pagkagabi eh, kuhaon ang iyang lawas, unya, muklaim sila nga, ah, na, nabanhaw ang ginoo. Busa, mas dako ang epikto sa iyang deception kaysa buhi pa siya. And we are told, of course, that in response to that, Pilate ordered a platoon of soldiers to guard the tomb. A legion of Roman soldiers. But all the soldiers in the world could not have kept him there. Why? Because that time, Matthew 28 verse 3 says, There was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. And his countenance was like lightning and his clothing was white as snow. Unsa may nahitabo sa mga gwardiya, nagipagwardiya dito sa lubnganan, sa naabot ang usa lang ka buhok manulunda nga wa, wa, wa yun manghinahanglag kusog, gipaligid ra ang bato unsa may nahitabo sa mga manulunda. Matthew 28 verse 4 says, and the guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel ans- answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. I want to tell you, matut panias mga babae ng miduaw sa sayos kamuntagon sa Domingo. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come, see the place where the Lord lay. And you know the rest of the story. Ni adto sila, nakita nila ang pinilo ng mga panapton katung giputos sa iyang patayang lawas ng lino. In fact, we know the rest of the story. Kay ni Anang adlaw siya ang pagkabanhaw, nakikita siya sa mga tinunan, including the doubting Thomas. Kay si Thomas di mangyukunos siya mutuo, hangtod makitaan yun niya ang ginoo mutong pag-apir ni Jesus Christ sa iyahang mga tinunan. Ayaw mo kahadlok ako ni nanlibawt ilang balhibo, o si Thomas nga maduhaduhaon di mutuo, gipahikap ni Jesus Christ sa iyang kamot, nga dito pa ang labas nga agi, sa lansang kay Bernice Pamansya. Degi lansang. Then the disciples were glad, according to John 20 verse 20, the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Yes, Christ appeared to various people at various times and places. In fact, si Paul, who was converted diri na sa 34 AD, ang uh, Of course, Paul was a contemporary of Christ. Dili lang siya disciple, kay manlulutos manggani siya. But when Paul was already a convert, he mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 8 that he was seen by Cephas, then by the twelve, and after that he was seen by over 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, But some have already fallen asleep. After that, he was seen by James, then by all the apostles, then last of all, he was seen by me also. Muna yung gisulti, na hinumdum naman mo sa okasyon, kanos asya nakakita kang Jesus Christ. Katong nagdala siya sa sirkular, gikan sa mga authorities, aron iyang gukuron o glutuson ang mga kristyano nga tuay in tao nagtago-tago o simba dito sa uh, tars, uh, Tarsus. Apan sa pag adto niya, nakilatan siya. O sa pagkatumba niya, gikan siyang kabayo, wala na siya kakita. O nabati niya ang tingog 
Saulo, Saulo, nganong gilutos mo ako? He claimed he met Jesus. So he claims that he was one of the eyewitnesses. Now, you know, may usaka first century author, Jewish nga author, member sa Judaism, but one of the oldest books that is written by one of the old historian, his name is Josephus, respected guy in a first century Jewish historian. Look at what he wrote. Now there was in, in the book a Jewish historian of the first century AD. Uh, now according to Josephus, there was about this time Jesus a wise man, if it be lawful to call him a man. For he was a doer of wonderful works, a teacher of such men as received the truth with pleasure. He drew over to him many Jews and also many of the Greeks. This man was the Christ. And when Pilate had condemned him to the cross upon his impeachment by the, the principal man among us, those who had loved from the first did not forsake him. For he appeared to them alive on the third day. Further, matur pani Josephus, the divine prophets having spoken this and thousands of other wonderful things about him, and even now the race of Christians so named from him has not died out. Wow! Usak a Jewish historian. So think for a moment. Josephus was a Jew writing to please Romans. This story would hardly be pleasing to them. He surely would not have included it unless it was true. Christ's resurrection would have been the only motive for writing as he did. Until now, people are still debating. You can read a lot of materials, pros and cons. But for us, who has become his faithful followers, we adopted the motto, particularly in Jesus is still the answer. We have adopted the motto and please say our motto with me. God said it and I believe it and that settles it. That's Jesus Christ. And what motivated the disciples cowering in despondence and doubt, hiding as they did behind locked doors to rally and go forth to proclaim a crucified, risen and coming Lord with unmitigated zeal and boldness. Twelve fishermen commanded by Christ, you go into all the world. Teach all nations what I have commanded you and lo, I am with you always. What caused hundreds of thousands of these martyrs to courageously face death rather than recant? The answer is in, inscribed in the catacombs of Rome. Goodbye until we meet again, until tomorrow. Words that are each in hope, for they believe the promise made by a recent Savior who said, Because I live, you will also live. Mo naging alag mga followers ni Jesus Christ. Nahinumdo mo sa nahitabu human ana. Pagkabanhaw niya, o niya siya mikayab nagbalik sa langit, nagpundok sila doon sa apirom nga usual nila nga gathering place, samtang buhi pa ang ginoo, where this apirom was the, uh, the very site of what we call the Lord's Supper, samtang sila na nagtigom dito, you know the rest of the story. According to Acts 1 verse 2, when they were of one accord, you know what one accord means? When they were of perfect unity, when they were now erasing, the, the, when they were now trying to get out any feeling of pride, when they were now about to accept each other and embrace each other, determined to follow the commission, go into all the world, as soon as they have accepted and embraced one another, you remember the story, Acts chapter 2 says, the cloven tongues of fire, the Holy Spirit, came upon them, the early reign of Christianity. O niya ang Acts chapter 2, sa dihang nagwali na sila, nagsulti ni ini nga pinulungan si Pedro, ang ilang outspoken leader. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you by miracles, wonders and signs which God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves also know him, whom God raised up, 
having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be healed by it. This Jesus has raised up of which we are all witnesses. Boldly, they were claiming now. Sa dayong dakop ka niya, nanago sila. Apan karon human sa komisyon, human miduaw kanila si Kristo, ug nakiguban kanila 40 more days after the, ascens- the resurrection, before he ascended, karon sila mituma na sa iyang sugo. Busa, namuta na ang mga tao, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Unsa may among buhaton. Ang mituo ni Swali, o ang ilang tubag, repent and let every one of you be baptized. Wow! Muna'y sulti sa mga kunan sa katawahan nga nagpatalinghog o karon mituo sa giwali sa mga apostolis. To show that they believe in Christ's resurrection, His victory of sin and death, the Bible says, paminawa o kung sa gisulti sa Bible, then those who gladly receive His word were baptized. And that day, about 3,000 souls were added to them. Grabe nga sermon ni Peter. O sa kasermon, ang Biblia nagsulti ka na to, nga, ang gikahibod nga nila ni Anang Adlawa, samtang nakadawat sila sa cloven tongues of uh, fire. Munang gingala na itong Pentecostal shower. Ang pagbubo kanila sa balang espiritu. 14 ka-nationalities ang diha sa current when they were preaching. Samtang sila nag-preach, ang 14 ka-nationalities nakadungog sa walis mga tinunan sa ilang pinulungan. Munang muingon bitaw ko usahay nga, dili man ito ni nga gift of tongues lang. It also means gift of hearing. Because when you read Acts chapter 2, you do not see a translator sitting beside every disciple preaching. Kami nga mga preachers nga nakabiyahi sa ubang mga lugar, na ay panahon nga magwali mi daghan mi translator sa Ethiopia naka translate nakawali ko dito nga upat akong translator kaysa Ethiopia good food ang ilang tribes dili man good magka di baka ay sila magkasinabot sa ilang pinulungan kay ang mga katigulangan ang nahibaw an ng pinulungan ang ilang yung tribo so gi-improve na ko tong situation kay sino ang kaanang magwali ka upat imong translator Busa ang akong gisuggest nila, usalay akong translator. Ang translator lang sa national language. Unya, ang translator sa national language, nga muray mutapad na ko, ang ubang translator, dito na lang sa ilalom sa mga kahoy, ang kada tribe, nga naay ila pong translator sa ilang language. So, dili sila hasol. Kay, ka, sa part good sa magwawali, kapoy mong gunang nagwali ka, unya ang mutranslate ni mo, upat ka buok. Kay pagkahuman na nang usang gusto naman ka mo, bira na po, apan, na po mo ay tulo. So, it was improved. And I am happy to hear that they continued with that system. What I'm trying to say to you is this. When the disciples began their work of preaching the gospel into all the world, ilang ipamautismuhan ang mga tao nga midawat kang Kristo, ingon nga manuluwas. The Apostles Paul showed the true significance of baptism by paralleling it with the death, the burial, and resurrection of Christ. So mga kaiksunan, ako mong tagaan ni ini. Ni ini ang pipila ka mga milabay nga episode na ito, nahisguta na ito nga paghatag sa ginoo sa Sabbath, ang iyahang gisuti, I gave you my Sabbaths so that you remember I am your Creator. And we, of course, know already that the main reason why we don't worship other gods is because Christ or God is the only creator, nobody else. Secondly, gawas nga siya atong creator, siya po atong savior. Munang, kanang duha ka reason, mao na hinungdan nga siya rin simbahon. Mao po na hinungdan nga no nga i-honor nato ang sabat kay memory of creation man. Now, ang uban sa ato nang natunan po, Sometime in the first century, when the people who believes in Christ, the followers of the way, were first called Christians in Antioch, one of the leaders in the church of Antioch in the first century, Sixtus, because there were many pagans who were already converted, pagans who were worshippers of the sun god on the first day of the week. Pagka accommodate na nila, gi introduce ni Sixtus ang pag-observe sa 
Sunday in honor of the resurrection of Christ. Gradually, diha nagsugod ang pag-honor sa resurrection ni Christ o ang pagsugod sa paggamit sa Sunday ingon nga panahon sa panagtigom. Until finally, victor sometime in 200 AD, the leader of the church uh, at that time in Rome, he magnified it and make it not just an annual celebration, but a weekly celebration. So every Sunday na. Now, kung ang Bible ang pasutihon, kung gusto ka mo honor sa resurrection ni Christ, dili kay imong pulihan ang Sabbath, nga nag-honor sa creation and salvation by Christ. Ang imong buhaton og mo-honor ka sa iyang resurrection. Mo ning giingon ni Paul sa Romans chapter 6 verses 3 and 4. Matud pa niya, do you not know that as many of us were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death. That just as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, Even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. As far as the Sabbath is concerned, nobody can change the sanctity of that day because God said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. For six days, the Lord God created the heavens and the earth and rested on it and hallowed it. And He gave it to man so that man will remember that God is only creator, God is only savior. But to honor His resurrection, experience the experience of baptism. Kay matod pa ni Pablo, diha sa bautismo na agihani mo ang kasinatian sa kinatibukan ng pagluwas ni Kristo kanimo. Namatay siya, gilubong siya, na banhaw siya. In baptism, we die in sin. We are buried in the watery grave. We come out of the water. So also, matud pa niya, and just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. As soon as your body comes up out from the water, that signifies your new life. Your second birth, your spiritual birth, your putting off of your carnal nature and the putting on of your spiritual nature, sama sa tunggis gutan kagabi. So sa Roman six verse six, matod paniya ni Paul, knowing this that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. Gidugang anak niya sa Galatians two verse twenty. Kung ako na bautismuhan na diha kang Kristo, it's no longer I that lives in this body, but Christ lives in me. Kay gilubong naman ang karaan kung kinabuhi ka tong akong karnal nga kinabuhi, gilubong naman sa tubig, na how as ako gikas tubig, new life is spiritually renewed. Meaning sa baptism, bury the past. You know, ang kanang Christian baptism, nagsugod ni sa New Testament, particularly when, the, when John the Baptist, who was preparing the way for the coming of the Messiah, his second cousin, Jesus. He was baptizing people, and he was calling people to repentance, and then baptized them. In Romans chapter 6, verse 6, we are told, Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around the Jordan went out to him, And were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. O samtang si Juan na mautismo, ang mga katawhan yung gignan, repent of your sins, meaning paghinulsul ka mo, o dayon ninyong hinulsul, pamautismo ka mo. Samtang si Juan nagahimo ni Ana, ang batanon nga second kasi niya, nga assistant siyang amahan dito sa Pandayan, sa Nazareth. May biya sa iyahang kasi, Furniture shop, og mi adto sa suba, og mi duol sa iyahang second cousin. And when he went there, pag approach niya, nag approach palang siya ang second cousin ngan amautismo sa suba, misinggit nas katawan. Behold, 
the lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Grabe nga announcement. Dayong anha ni Jesus Christ, aron magpabautismo ka niya, so wa pagani makaduol ka niya, aron mananghin nga magpabautismo, misinggit na si Juan sa nagpadulong pa si Kristo. Tanawa ang kordiro sa Diyos nga mikuha sa sala sa kalibutan. Tanawa mga tao. Ang nakailan ni Jesus niyo, ang anak mana ni Jose, kato manang panday dito sa furniture shop ni Joseph, ug ni Mary. Wow! Apan mi duol si Jesus, kang John, yung second cousin. Ug mi ingon siya, I need, uh, bautismo hiko, John. Ingon in taon si Juan, dili man ako ang angay mo bautismo ni mo. Ikaw may angay mo bautismo na ako. Pano sa ito bag ni Ginoong Isos kaniya? Matthew 3 verse 15. Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Ato ginisyang himuon karon, kay importante man alang kanato ang atong hingpiton, pagtuman ang paglakaw sa dalan sa pagkamatarong. So, John, the second cousin of Jesus, baptized him in the Jordan River. And of course, we know what is narrated in scriptures. As soon as Jesus came up immediately from the water, behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, alighting upon him. Ang salampati, simbolo sa balang Espiritu, mikunsad ka niya. O verse 16 sa Matthew chapter 3, And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. O mauni ang passage sa Scripture, Matthew chapter 3, nga imong mapamatod ang higala nga, ang three persons of what we call the Godhead are all there in one occasion. The Son was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended like a dove, and the voice of the Father was heard. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am I am well pleased. Oh, brothers and sisters, on the wings of Adab, God sent His love and words of encouragement to Jesus, but He did something else. As Jesus walked up out of the water and stood with dripping clothes on the muddy banks of the Jordan, God publicly introduced Jesus as His Son, the Anointed One. Meaning, ang iyahang pagdeklara nga mauni ang akong tinudlo, mauni ang akong pinili, mauni ang misiyas nga inyong gipaabot. Mabasa na nato mga Yusuf. Acts 10 verse 38, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth while the Holy Spirit and with power who went with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. Go therefore mo nang sugo ni Jesus sa iyong mga tinunan. Make disciples of all nations. Teach them all that I have commanded you. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So mga eksoon, ato na ninyong isgutan kagabi, the second birth experience is one of the major teachings of scriptures. If you want your old life your carnal life to have an end be buried in the watery grave og ang bible nagingon usara ka klase ang purma sa baptism one lord one faith one baptism ang anong importante ning masabtan sa katawhan karon kay karon god at least dunay mga 14 ka purma sa bautismo naay magtao nga moingon okay Ila lang sa bligan og rose petals bautismo na ilang palakangon og uh, baga sa kalayo bautismo na ilang bubuan og asin bautismo na ilang dihugan og lana bautismo na ilang putsog habol bautismo 14 forms but the bible says one lord one faith one baptism and what is that kind of baptism as far as the bible is concerned the only baptism the only real baptism the only valid baptism we can get A sample of that from the story of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. You know the story, Acts chapter 8. Samtang kining Ethiopiahanong eunuchko, nagbiyahi pa ingon si Jerusalem, nagsakay sa iyang karwahe, dala ang iyang mga alagad nga nagsirbi kaniya. 
nagbasa si Esbas sa hon. Nakitaan sa Ginoo. You see, God knows who His sheep are, who are not yet in His flock. Nakita na sa Diyos, bisag asa pa ka o karniro ka sa Diyos. Nakita ka na sa Diyos. Wa pa ka makitis mga magwawali, nakitaan ka na sa Diyos, o gitultulon ka sa Diyos sa Ibanghilyo, kay ikaw tinawag man niya. Bisag asa pa ka. Abi ninyo muna yung nahitabo sa si Ethiopian yunok. Tao gini sa Diyos. Nagbasag Biblia, bisag wa kasabot, nakitaan sa Ginoo. Wow, wow, kata, ako na, ako ng karniro. Ingon siya Pilipe. Philip, go there. Go there. Gipalakaw niya sa Pilipe, according to the scriptures, murag manulunda, miguyod ka niya, hangtod nakatapad siya sa karuahe na minaw siya, o gipangutana niya ang Ethiopia, Ethiopian eunuch. Sir, nakasabot ka anang imong gibasa? Ingon in tao ng Ethiopian eunuch nga, wa lagi, saka noon nga rin isplika riko. Wow. You know the rest of the story? There was a Bible study. Gi-explain ni Philip kaniya ang iyang gibasa, Isaiah 53, o ang uban pa kalabot sa teachings about Christ. Sa dihang na humana siya, miingon siya pagsuti. See? Ni ana may tubig. Unsa may makapugong kanako gikan sa pagkabautismo. O si Pilipi miingon kaniya, kung ikaw nagtuo uban sa tibuok mong kasing-kasing, Mahimo kang bautismuhan. And he answered, the Ethiopian eunuch answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So, he commanded the chariot to stand still, and both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and he baptized him. Nabautismuhan sa tubig. Hinumdumi. Ang word nga, baptism. Naa ang term. Acts 8.38 Now, when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away, and he went on his way rejoicing. Brothers and sisters, ang ginganlag bunyag sa Biblia, ang ginganlag baptism sa Biblia, mauna ang paglubong sa lawas, didtos ilawom sa tubig. Kay ang baptism, gikan sa pulong ng Grigo, baptizo. Ang baptizo, ang tibuok, Ilubugi na sa ilawang tubig sama bitawan ang bisti nga imong kuluran, buhatan ni Mugday, pal- pabukala ni mo ng kawa sa day, kung tina, unya, itusnob ni mo ng kinatibukan sa klut, paghabwa ni anak, lainag kulur. Sama bitaw sa pinggan nga imong ikanan, gigamit sa pagkaon, kung gusto kang malimpyo ka ng pinggana, itusnob gini mo ang maong pinggan sa ilawang sa tubig o mawala ang iyang mga mumuhugaw. Ingo ni Ana ang term sa baptism. Mauna siya ang gigamit ng term. Paminawa na ninyo ning gisulti ni James Cardinal Gibbons sa libro nga Faith of Our Fathers, 94th edition, page 277. Nga nung importante nga mabati tani? Because today, the big church would say bautismo na bukura. Infusion. Bu- but listen, For several centuries, according to James Cardinal Gibbon sa libro nga Faith of Our Fathers, page 277 sa 94th edition. For several centuries, after the establishment of Christianity, baptism was usually conferred by immersion. But since the 12th century, the practice of baptism by infusion or pouring has prevailed in the church as this manner attended with less inconvenience than baptism by immersion. So the church exercises her discretion in adopting the most convenient mode according to the circumstances of time and place. So until mga 12 or 13th century, gikan sa kang Jesus Christ nga panahon sa mga apostles nga panahon, ang baptism into Christianity is always by immersion ilubong yun ang lawas sa tubig. Apa ni ining 12 and 13th century, nagsugod ang church pag-introduce o more convenient. Kay matod pa nila, samaan ang, ang mga monastiri di as ibabaw sa bakilid. Tu ara ang sapa sa ubos. Pasta ang kapuya na maglusad pa ingus ubos. Ay ha, paad to suba. Pag... Unya, ang uba nila nagbuhat o mga baptistry. And there are still many baptistries even in Europe today. If you visit some of the old European churches before. 
about 66 of them are found in Italy alone. Unsa unsay 66 baptistry sa sud sa mga dagko nga church. Of course, ni apagyo kaagi in 1988 uh, Grand Vladimir of Russia was baptized in Kiev by immersion in the cathedral Vladimir mi ang miingon siya sa iyong mga katawhan duaw mo nga ri grabe po to gani nga nga klase sa baptism kay gipatan aw niya ang tanan niyang constituents ang dili mo tanaw iya mang silutan mo pud example sa tao nga ang iyang baptism but he was baptized the Russian king Vladimir in a baptistry you know brothers and sisters some years ago pag duaw na ako sa lugar sa akong asawa bulanon na ako asawa sa buhol Usa sa tourist attraction kung gusto kang mo doaw sa buhol, dili lang ang mga uh, tarsir, dili lang ang mga chocolate hills. Ang usa sa nindot og interesting kaayo og Kristiyano ka nga Pilipino, mo doaw ka sa Baclayon because Baclayon is known as the oldest church in the the oldest uh, Christian church in the Philippines. Ibunganan mga eksyon. Dili kay bunganan, but you can see it there. Kung gusto pa mo mo adto. The oldest Roman Catholic Church in the Philippines, located in Baclayon, Bohol, has a baptistry inside the large old cathedral. Na ay baptistry. Sa sulod sa simbahan na, na ay pool nga gamay. Di man kakaingon nga katumpul kaliguan ng spare, no? It was a baptistry. Because some centuries, ang mga tao good, ilang choice ang respetuhan. Huwag mo ingon gani nga, okay na sa amo ang infusion kung buo-buo lang. Na mo, mo baptize ang pare sa ila sa bubo. Apan kun mo ingon nga gusto gyud ko atong Bible baptism nga immersion. They have the baptistry there. Ang dako nga question sa aton, is it really necessary to be baptized? Ingon si Jesus Christ sa iyang interview kang Nicodemus, most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Og sa Matthew 16, verse 16, ang pulong ni Ginoong Isus. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. Ang pangutan na nato karon. How can one prepare to be baptized? Simple. Gisogo ni Isus ang iyang mga tinunan. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Teach them all that I have told you. So one essential for Baptism is first of all a person has to be taught. Dili kay bautismuhan lang ang tao ng wagani sa kalibutan sa hinung dan ngano. A person has to understand why he is going to be baptized. He is taught na kasabut sa diyang na kasabut midawat ug muto ug mu determine sa pagsunod nan he is ready. Observe all things that I have commanded you. That's the Christ way of baptism. In other words, an individual preparing for the sacred rite of baptism needs an understanding of the teachings of Jesus and also a willingness to obey them. But more than a mere knowledge of the doctrine, there must be a commitment of one's life to Christ. When a person unites with Jesus, then naturally he begins to live in Christ's way. He does not want the old man, the old sinner man to live in his life body. Total belief in Christ. Transformation. Conversion. On say sulti sa Acts 8.37, If you believe with all your heart, muna gisulti ni Philip sa Ethiopian yunok, kung ang imong nabati karun imong gituuhan sa tibuok mong kasing-kasing, nan mahimo ka ng bautismuhan. With all your heart. It's necessary to believe with all your heart that Christ is your Savior. The one who forgives our sins. The second thing that is necessary in baptism is repentance. Unsa may repentance? Ang repentance dili ka ng confession manang primero. Dayon gitot gitudluan ka ni kompisal ka. Mo repent po ka number three. Unsa may repentance? Ang repentance is not just saying that you have sinned. No, repentance properly defined is. You are walking in the life of sin. Stop sinning. And not just stop sinning, turn your back from sinning and walk in the new life. Matun pa sa akong higalang magawali. 
ang repentance ko no, murag ka ng drill sa sundalo. Kung sa may drill sa sundalo, forward march in sin mana. Then hunt, hunong sa pagpakasala. Then about face, talikdi ka ng salaa. Unya, forward march na po sa bagong kinabuhi. Muna isulti niya mahitungod sa repentance. And I like that. A heart that's in soften, leaving behind the old life. The same question is given to us today. An invitation. Ungs matod pa sa Acts 22 verse 16. And now, why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins calling on the name of the Lord. Tonight is the, last, the second to the last of our series for our COVID Gospel Series Part 2. Ugma sa buntag, mahuman ang atong series. Come and join us. We have a full church service in Hope Channel tomorrow morning, beginning at 8.30. Og ang atong last nga lecture sa Jesus is still the answer will be at about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Watch for that. But brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, if in the process of following the program, you have heard God's voice calling you, anak taka, kay naamay text si Jesus sa John 10, 16, I have other sheep who are not in my flock. Them also I will call. Because I am only one shepherd and I have only one flock. John 10, 16. Sa unsa mang pagin na kaila sa Diyos, sa mga iya, Iyang gisulti po na sa verse 27. My sheep knows me and I know them because they hear my voice and they follow me. Nakaila ang Diyos ka nimo, Karniro ko na sa Diyos. Wala pa kas iyang turil karon, Nagingon siya. Doon ako'y ubang karniro nga wala pa sa sulod sa akong turil. Pasagdang ko na sila di ako asa silang turila. Dili. Taugon ko na sila. Inigtawag na ako kanila magpatalinghog sila sa akong tingog o musunod sila ka nako. Kay ako nakaila nila o sila nakaila nako. Brother, sister, if you feel God has been calling you in our COVID gospel series, respond to Him today. If you make a decision to be part of God's flock, kay usaraman ang akong panon matod pa niya sa John 16, 10, 16, usara ang akong panon, usarasab, Ako nga magbalantay. Nan, kung naara sa emo ang decision, you manifest that decision, you can either send a message to us and we will address your need because we have some pastors who are assigned in the place where you are and we will do something to respect your decision to be baptized. But we want you to manifest that decision by trying to communicate with us. We will do the rest after you have connected with us. Today, we have ended our lecture series for the evening. And before we give you back our beautiful theme song for the COVID gospel series, Jesus Still the Answer, may I again invite all of you to join with me as we pray. Amahan na mo nga balaan, giila na mo ang imong pagkagagahom, makagagahom sa tanan. Salamat kaayo nga ikaw nakiguban ka namo during the past 19 nights. We thank you for proclaiming to us the word of truth from the Holy Scriptures. We thank you for what you have said in Revelation 1 verse 3. That blessed are those who read and blessed are those who hear. But most of all, blessed are those who keep what they have heard and what they have read. We understand the motto of Jesus is still the answer. What you have said, we will believe. And that settles it. But while we are going through with this spiritual experience, O oh Lord, we are also battling against this physical problem that has plagued the world. So we bring our brothers and sisters to you. I bring unto you hands asked him who has a prostate cancer i bring unto you victor lumakang who is requested by ninyo sampung for prayer i bring unto you the family of michelle flores rusi biuyo morales and children denise elizabeth 
and also the Zamora family, the Ola Air family, the Oxon family, and others in Morton Grove, Chicago. I pray for Sweeney and his family, Matt and Jing in Canada, as well as the other children. I pray, O Lord, for your blessing upon Jane Baliao. You know what she is going through today. She had been bleeding in the past few days and it has to stop. Please extend your healing touch upon her. I pray for Erlinda Laurita Ongao and her husband and children that they may open their hearts to the truth. I pray for Kungkurjo Sumailo and his wife Mila Kadwan Sumailo in New Jersey. Oh Lord, we are sorry to hear that they are tested positive of COVID. Oh Lord, spare them that they will be among those who will be uh, re able to recover. I pray for uh, Il Il Elaine Sumailo, the friend of Ray Biniga, the family of Cora Quaris Marquez, the family of the Fernandez in California, the Alcorins in California, for Mac Jude Tano Tolba, for Sibi Oradagam Ganmelok Il Ilbanuzar, for Neria Hontilia Ando, for Edith Tabamo Barinian Jimenez, for Lorina Husun, for Nigal Casas, for Noemi Siles, for Joel Saburi, and Elena Albanyo Patigayon. Oh God, our Father, you know the circumstances of each of these individuals, and you know the others who have also sent in the requests. Lord, please visit each one of them with your power, with your healing touch, with your consoling Holy Spirit for those who need the comforts of the Holy Spirit. And thank you, O oh God, for helping us to have our hopes anchored on the rock of ages. The problem in our world is not yet solved, and we continue to pray that ultimately there will be a final solution. Today we anchor our faith on Jesus, our hope of all hopes. Thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask in His name. Amen. Let's give you our beautiful singers again for our theme song. I want Jesus in my life More than anything this world can offer me For I know that He alone can satisfy Just to know He's leading in my life is worth everything that I might sacrifice. Oh, I want Jesus more than anything. Take the fame that I might want and all the things that seem so dear. I'd rather have Him than any praise that man may give to me. I want Him to have control and be the breath of life in me. I'd rather have Jesus, I'd rather have Him. Than anything. Some men try so hard to prove that God's not really real. 
While others say they know for sure His love you cannot feel But I know He's real within my soul For one day He cleansed and made me whole And Jesus is still the answer Jesus is still the answer And though time and ages roll Jesus is still the answer He's the answer for your soul And though some may say He doesn't fit with their philosophy I know Jesus is still the answer He's always been and always will be Jesus is still the answer and though time and ages roll, Jesus is still the answer, He's the answer for your soul. And though some may say He doesn't fit with their philosophy, Oh